we give Jesus a big, big hand of praise as we take our seat. It is my year of breaking limit. Very surely we'll be on our feet to give quality thanks to the Lord. And when we write, we shall be saying, Father, thank you for the multitude of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Canaan Land and across all our few centers around the world. A louder email. John chapter 6 and verse 44, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draws him. Shall we be on our feet as we lift our voices before the Lord and give him thanks? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the multitude of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Canaan Land and across all our few centers around the world. Lift up your voice and give thanks to the Lord this morning. Our Father, we thank you for the multitude of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Kenna Land and across all our few centers around the world. We have returned this morning to give you all the glory, all the honor and adoration. Our Father, we thank you for the multitudes of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Kenna Land and across all our few centers around the world. Lift up your voice this morning, magnify him, give him the glory, exalt his name. He's worthy of our praise. Our Father, we thank you for the multitude of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Canaan Land and across all our field centers around the world. No man can come except the Father draw him. We are standing upon that word this morning to give quality thanks to the Lord. To appreciate the one who has brought multitudes of participants at Shiloh 2020. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We appreciate you, our King. Thank you for the multitudes of participants at Shiloh 2020. Lift up your voice and give quality thanks to the Lord this morning. Magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who has made it to happen. We return this morning just like that one leper to appreciate him. Our Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We adore your name for the multitudes of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Canaan Land and across all our field centers around the world. We give you all the praise. We return to give you the glory. We bless your name, our King, for the multitudes of participants that you draw unto yourself at Shiloh 2020, both here in Canaan Land and across all our field centers around the world. Our heart is full of joy, and we are returning the glory back to you this morning. Father, thank you for the multitudes of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here at Canaan Land and across all our field centers around the world. We give you all the glory. We bless your name. We magnify your name. Lift up your voice everywhere and let your voice of thanksgiving reach out to the heaven this morning. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise for the multitudes of participants at Shiloh 2020, both here in Canaan Land and across all our field centers around the world. We return to give you the glory. We return to appreciate him. Lift up your voice and give him thanks. You can thank him in the spirit. You can thank him in your understanding. Ensure your thanksgiving is reaching out to heaven today. Our Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory for the multitude of participants at Shiloh 2020. Glory be to the Lamp of God, both here in Canaan Land and across our field centers around the world. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Lift up your two hands, wave it unto the Lord, and appreciate the God of Shiloh, the one who has brought multitude unto himself, both here in Canaan Land and all across our field centers. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We give you all the glory in Jesus' wonderful name we have given thanks. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please be seated. In the moment we shall be rising up again to give God thanks, saying, Father, thank you for the massive salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Can I hear a bigger amen? 
First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3 says, No man can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. Please rise up to your feet with me. Lift up your voice as we give God thanks for the massive salvation of souls at Shiloh. Father, we have returned to say thank you for the massive salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Lift up your voice as you appreciate God. Lift up your voice uh, as you thank him for the salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Give him all the praise that is due to him alone, my Father and my God. We have returned to say thank you for the massive salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Thank you, O oh Lord, for saving the souls. Thank you for delivering the captives. Thank you, mighty God, uh, for salvation. Thank you, O oh Lord, for as many, O oh Lord, that rededicated their lives to Christ at Shiloh 2020. Father, we have returned to say thank you. Someone open wide your mouth. Appreciate God. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him adoration. Bless his holy name for the salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Massive salvation. Great multitudes coming to know the Lord. Great multitudes rededicating their lives to the Lord by the power of the Holy Ghost. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. Someone lift up your hands. Lift up your voices. Appreciate this God. Give him thanks. Give him glory. My Father and my God, we return to give you thanks for the great multitude of souls saved both on ground here and in all our viewing centers around the world. Father Lord, we give you praise even for those saved while watching Lord their pieces. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We return all the glory to you. No one can say Jesus is Lord but by your spirit. That's why we have returned to say thank you. We have returned to say we appreciate you. We give you all the praise that is due to you alone. Blessed be your name. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you praise uh, for the massive salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of hosts. We have returned to appreciate you for what you have done by yourself. Lift up your voice as you appreciate God. Lift up your voice as you give him thanks, my Father and my God. We give you all the thanks. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration for the massive, massive salvation of souls at Shiloh 2020. Someone lift up your voice in appreciation to God. No one can come to him except the Father draws him. Many, many were drawn to the Lord even all through this Shiloh. It is the doing of the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Lift up your voice. Uh, appreciate God. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him adoration. Our God is worthy of the praise. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all adoration. Bless his holy name. Lift up your hands uh, in appreciation to God. Wave them to him. Give him glory. Give him praise. Father, we are grateful to you. You have been faithful to your word. You save the souls. You bless the souls. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you, mighty God. Wave those hands in appreciation. Thank you, mighty God, for saving the souls. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Put those hands together for the Lord. And please, you may be seated. Next, we're rising to pray, saying, Father, thank you 
for diverse world encounters at Shiloh 2020. Let your amen break limits. Job 6.25, how possible are right words. Let's rise as we give quality thanks to the God of Shiloh for diverse word encounters at Shiloh 2020. Word encounters in the area of healing, in the area of deliverance, in the area of breakthroughs, in the area of resurrection. Lift your hands, lift your voice everywhere across the nations of the earth. Let's do it quickly. Let's do it wholeheartedly. Let's do it from the depth of our understanding, appreciating him. No one can receive the word when God has not revealed the word. Let's return with thanks this morning, blessing the name of the God of Shiloh for diverse word encounters at Shiloh 2020. Appearances over and again by his word. Lift your voice. Make it loud right now. Make it very fervent. Let's glorify God. Remember, appreciation is application for more. Therefore, lift your hands, lift your voice, glorify God for the diverse word encounters at Shiloh 2020. He sent his word, his word did the work. Let's give him glory. Let's bless his name. Let's magnify him. The heavens over us are open. Let's appreciate the God of Shiloh. Let's glorify him this morning. Our Father, thank you for diverse word encounters at Shiloh 2020. We are recipients. We are benefactors. We are witnesses. We have returned to give you thanks. Is somebody blessing the name of the God of Shiloh? Is somebody grateful this morning? Remember, he delights in it. He demands it. And this is his will. Our Father and our God, we give you glory. We give you thanks. We bless your name. We've returned testifying of your word diversely at Shiloh 2020. We give you glory wherever you are right now. Give him thanks in the spirit. Give him thanks in your understanding. Give him thanks from the depth of your heart for diverse world encounters at Shiloh 2020. Our Father, we appreciate you for the light of your word, the revelation of your word, the illumination of your word at Shiloh 2020. Give him thanks for sending the word. Give him thanks for the entrance of the word. Magnify him. Glorify him. Saints of God, get excited right now. Let's bless God. Let's give him glory. Let's honor him. Let's appreciate him. He demands it. He deserves it. He delights in it. Our God, we give you praise. We give you thanks for diverse world encounters at Shiloh 2020. We are thanking him for the free course of his word. We are thanking him for the glorification of his word. We are blessing him for the impact of his word. Our God, we give you praise. Our turnaround father, we appreciate your turnaround word at Shiloh 2020. Diversely, we enjoyed your appearances over and again. You visited us by the word. And for this, we are here giving you thanks. We are here blessing your name. Is somebody lifting holy hands? Is somebody lifting holy voices? Let give him thanks. We can't thank him enough. We can only thank him some more. Our God, we thank you. Our Father, we thank you for diverse world encounters at Shiloh 2020. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lift up your voice. Thank him in the spirit. He that giveth us in the spirit, doeth it well. Thank him in your understanding. That is a command of scriptures. Magnify him. Be strong in faith. Giving glory to God for diverse world encounters at Shiloh 2020. No one could have done this but the God of Shiloh. We give him praise. Let's give him thanks. Let's magnify him with loud voice, with great faith from the depth of our spirit. Let's give him thanks and praise. He has done all things well. He has sent his word. He has visited us as promised. Give him glory from the depth of your heart, wherever you are right now. Wave your hands and magnify him. Our thanksgiving is accepted this morning. In Jesus' awesome name, we have given thanks. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please be seated.
We're going to be rising up again to thank him some more. We're going to be saying, Father, thank you for instant answers to prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. In Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3, it says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Let's rise on our feet this morning as we engage in this thanksgiving prayer, saying, Father, thank you for instant answers to prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. Lift up your voice this morning and let the Lord hear your voice of appreciation, thanking him, glorifying this great God who answers all of our prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. Is someone giving him glory this morning? Thank him and thank him and thank him again. Our Father, our God, in the name of Jesus, we have come thanking you for instant answers to prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. Is someone giving God glory? Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor this morning. Your prayers were answered instantly at the Shiloh prayer hour. Lift up your voice and let the Lord hear your voice of appreciation this morning. Our Father, our God, we have come with a heart of gratitude appreciating you for instant visitation at the Shiloh prayer hour. Are you giving him glory? Are you giving him honor? Thank him some more. Give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. The Shiloh 2020 prayer hour was a mountain of visitation, a mountain of intervention. Are you thanking him this morning? Let the Lord hear your voice of appreciation of Father in the name of Jesus. We have come thanking you for instant answers to our prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for the instant visitation, for the instant manifestation at the Shiloh prayer hour. We have come returning all the glory back to you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Are you still thanking him? Are you giving him all the glory? Call, we call unto him at the Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. And God manifested with answers. God manifested, showing us direction, showing us the way to go. Are you giving him glory? Let the Lord hear your voice of appreciation this morning. Father, thank you for instant answers to prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. Father, we give you glory. We have come returning all the glory back to you for the instant manifestation, for the instant intervention, for your visitation, for answers to prayers at the Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. Give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. He said, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice that makes merry. Let thanksgiving begin to proceed out of your heart this morning, returning all the glory back to this prayer, answering God. God did not stir them, but he answered them. Give him glory, give him honor. Father, thank you for instant answers to prayers at Shiloh 2020 prayer hour. We have come with a heart of gratitude this morning, returning all the glory back to you. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Is someone giving him glory this morning? Are you still thanking him? Thank him from the depth of your heart. You can thank him in your understanding. You can equally thank him in the Holy Ghost. Call unto me and I will answer you and will show you great things great and mighty things. Oh Lord, thank you. We call, you equally showed. We call, you equally visited us with mighty things. Now wave those hands unto Jesus again. Give him glory, give him honor. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. Be seated and give the Lord a big hand of praise. 
In a moment again, we shall rise yet to pray. And in this segment, we are saying, Father, thank you for peace and serenity experienced all through Shiloh 2020. Job 34 and verse 29, the scripture says, when they give it quietness, who then can make trouble? Please, let's rise together and lift up our voices saying, Father, we thank you for peace and serenity experienced all through Shiloh 2020. Lift up your voice and let's give quality thanks again uh, to our Father and to our God uh, for the peace and serenity we enjoyed all through Shiloh 2020. Lift up your voice uh, uh, with grateful hearts this morning. Let's return all the glory and all the praise to the Prince of Peace uh, who gave us peace and calmness all through Shiloh. Lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your heart. Uh, let's give thanks this morning. Our Father and our God, uh, we have come this morning with hearts of appreciation. And we are saying thank you for peace. Uh, we are saying thank you for serenity. Thank you for all around calmness. Uh, experience all through Shiloh. Indeed, we acknowledge your hand. Uh, and we have come this morning uh, with hearts of gratitude. Uh, thanking you. Magnifying you. Celebrating your faithfulness. Uh, for the calmness. Uh, for the peace. Uh, for the serenity. Enjoyed all through Shiloh 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone lift up your voice. Let's do that which is good this morning. As we return all the glory and all the praise to the God of Shiloh for the peace we experienced from the beginning of Shiloh to the very end of Shiloh 2020. Let's magnify him for serenity enjoyed everywhere on Grand Canaan land, in all our viewing centers, no case of unrest. Our Father, we thank you for your hand upon every location. We give you thanks and praise. Lift up your voice. We have returned this morning with grateful hearts. We have returned this morning with hearts of deep appreciation. We are saying, Father, we thank you again and again and again this morning for all around peace and serenity enjoyed all through Shiloh 2020. It is your doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Someone lift up your voice from the depth of your heart and show your gratitude. It's ascending to God this morning. Our Father, our God has proved again that He is the Prince of Peace and that when it give it quietness, uh, no one can make trouble. Uh, let's return the glory. Let's return the praise. Uh, let's magnify his name together. Our Father and our God, uh, from the depth of our hearts this morning, uh, all across the nations of the earth, uh, where we are connected this morning, uh, we have come with a loud voice uh, and with hearts of appreciation. Uh, we are saying thank you again uh, for peace, uh, and thank you again for serenity, for calmness, for ease. All through Shiloh 2020, we give you glory. Lift up your voice. Let's thank God intentionally this morning. Let's thank Him from the depth of our hearts for the most serene Shiloh, for the most refreshing Shiloh, for the most calm Shiloh, Shiloh 2020. All around peace and serenity. Calmness everywhere, no tensions, uh, no apprehensions, uh, no unrest anywhere. Our Father, we thank you. It is your doing. Uh, it is marvelous uh, in our eyes. Uh, therefore, we have come this morning with hearts of appreciation. Uh, from the depth of our hearts, we are saying thank you again uh, and again and again uh, for all our peace uh, and serenity enjoyed uh, from the beginning of Shiloh. To the very end of Shiloh 2020. Our Father, we thank you. Our God, we magnify you. Lift up your voice. It's a good thing to give thanks. Let's do that which is good. Our Father deserves our thanks. Let's give it to him from the depth of our hearts. You can wave your hands in appreciation. He has done all things well. We enjoyed peace and serenity. All through Shiloh, there was calmness everywhere. No apprehension anywhere. Our Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' matchless name, we have given thanks. Please give Jesus a big, big hand, and you may please be seated.
shortly we're going to rise to pray or take appropriate position as we may desire as we take our personal supplication. Let's be reminded in Matthew chapter 21 and in verse 22 he said, And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Please, as you rise up or take appropriate position as you desire, lift up your voice as you talk to your Father, talk to our Father in heaven, and telling him that which is your desire in Jesus' name. Let's begin to magnify the name of the Lord, thanking him. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's lift up our hands and lift up our voices, magnifying him for answered prayers. Because we have asked him believing. According to us, we have asked. He will answer us. Lift up your hands and give God thanks and give him praise. Father, we bless your name. Jesus, we bless your name. Thank you for and thank you and thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Put those wonderful hands together for Jesus and please you may take your seat. This morning it is testimony time. 
Let's make it louder, my breakthrough time. Please, let's listen to the following documented testimonies and be blessed as you do. Number one, blind eyes opened by the God of Shiloh. Let's make it louder for Jesus. Hallelujah. For many years, I've been suffering from high blood pressure, diabetes, breast lumps, and blindness. And as the years progressed, I could not move around without assistance. My son had decided to come and take me to Benin for treatment when I was invited to attend Shiloh. However, I could not make it on the first day, but I came on the second day. On the third day, when Papa was ministering, he asked us to touch where we had ailment. I touched my eyes and my chest, and I asked God to remove sorrow from my life. Immediately, I started to see clearly. <laughs> Hallelujah. And all the pain ceased. I was able to identify my children and cross the road by myself. Let's make it louder for Jesus. All the pain and eye problems were gone. I am totally set free. Praise ye the Lord. The testifier is Teresa. Oh dear, let's put our hands together for the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Number two, my son released from the kidnappers by divine intervention. Hallelujah. For almost two weeks, my son went missing. I kept praying about the word about my, of my son. And when I came to Shiloh, I told God that I wanted my son to be released instantly. On Friday, the fourth day of Shiloh, during the morning session, Papa Yudipo declared that whatever issue that came with us to Shiloh will not go back with us. I claimed it and started celebrating God for the release of my son, even when I had not heard from him. Miraculously, that same afternoon, I called my elder son at home, and he told me that my son is back home. Let's celebrate Jesus. He was kidnapped along Benin Bypass Axis, and he tried reaching me on the phone because the kidnappers wanted ransom for his release. But the God of Shiloh, but the God of Shiloh intervened, and he was released. He was released at the word of God's servant without any payment after almost two weeks of being held captive. To God alone be all the glory. Hallelujah. The testifier is Sarah Chichi H. For these amazing testimonies, please rise up on your feet. Pull your hands together for this almighty God. <laughs> lift your hand and lift your voice this morning and let's give glory to God. For these awesome testimonies, the God of Shiloh has been working mightily in our midst, and the testimonies we have heard are the evidences of his mighty hand. Are you giving glory to God this morning? Let your voice of gratitude and thanksgiving be heard on high. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor and give adoration unto him. Bless the name of the Most High God, our Father, we have come this morning to say thank you for your mighty hand and your mighty acts. Your doings are marvelous in our eyes, and we give you all of the praise. We bless your holy name. We celebrate your faithfulness. You are worthy of all the praise, and you are worthy of all the glory. Accept our thanksgiving. Now also thank him for all that he did in answering your prayers, particularly your personal supplications this morning that you presented unto him. Every time we call, our God hears us. And when he hears us, he gives us answers. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Bless his holy name. He's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the glory. He's worthy of all the honor. And worthy of all the adoration. Blessed be your holy name. And blessed be your holy name. And blessed be your holy name. Now ask the Lord to speak to you this morning. I've come this morning, Lord, to hear from you. Speak to me. Lift your voice and ask him to speak to you this morning. Speak to me, Lord. It's your voice I've come to hear. 
all the people gathered early in the morning to hear him. It's your voice I've come to hear this morning. I've come to hear from you. I've come to be spoken to by you. I've come to encounter you again. We all with open face as we behold him as in a glass, we are changed. Lord, I've come to hear from you again, that I may be changed again, transformed again. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Father, this morning we have come with voices of gratitude for all that you have done. For your goodness, we say thank you. For the testimonies we have heard, we say thank you. And now this morning our eyes are upon you. We ask, Lord, that you by your mighty hand will speak to each one of us and change our stories again. We give you the praise and the glory for it. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please, you may be seated in his presence. It is my year of breaking limits. This morning, as we begin to explore God's word, we begin with this recognition that no prophetic word can be fulfilled in the energy of the flesh. In 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 9, the Bible makes this statement very clearly that by strength shall no man prevail. It means, therefore, that it is only the hand of God that can fulfill the plan of God. In 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 15 and also repeated in verse 24, it said, that which he spake with his mouth unto David my father, with his own hand, he has fulfilled it. Fulfillment of prophecy is the product of the hand of God. If it is God's mouth that speaks, then man's hand cannot fulfill. It will always take the hand of God to bring to pass whatever God's mouth has spoken. If that is the case, then it also means that thanksgiving is vital to fulfillment of prophecy. In fact, we can put it this way, that the fulfillment of every prophecy is at the mercy of thanksgiving. Why is that so? 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 18. The Bible says to us there, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 36, the Bible tells us there that after you have done the will of God, it is only then that you will receive the promise. So God fulfilling the prophetic word is at the mercy of our thanksgiving. Because in giving thanks, we do the will of God. And in doing the will of God, we secure the hand of God. It is in doing God's will that we experience God's hand. And that is why this week, our exhortation is going to be captioned, engaging the power of thanksgiving for fulfillment of prophecy. Engaging the power of thanksgiving for fulfillment of prophecy. And we're going to be looking at examples all through this week of individuals in scriptures that engaged the force of thanksgiving and as a result of it, they saw prophecy fulfilled. And this morning, we are beginning with the example of Jesus. For us as believers, Jesus is the ultimate pattern. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So Jesus remains the pattern for you and I to follow. And from the example of Jesus, we see prophecy and fulfillment bridged by thanksgiving. In the book of John chapter 5 verse 25, a prophecy went forth. Jesus speaking, he made this statement. He said, the hour is coming and now is, John 5 25. The hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. If you read the book of John and you look at it from the first chapter to that fifth chapter, we had never seen the dead raised in the ministry of Jesus. So what Jesus was speaking about was something to come. 
He said, the hour is coming and now is. When the dead will hear the voice of the Son of Man and they that hear shall live. That was the prophecy. But how will the prophecy be brought to pass? In the book of John chapter 11, verse 40 down to verse 44, Lazarus had died and had been buried for four days. The case was closed to the point that even his sister said, Lord, don't go and open that grave again. By this time he's thinking. There is nothing that can come out of it. It's already too late. They said to him, Lord, if you had come earlier, our brother would not have died. As far as they were concerned, the limitation of his ministry was to sickness. It could not address death. But here Jesus said, roll away the stone. And they rolled away the stone. And the Bible says, between the death point and the resurrection point, he gave thanks. He lifted his voice and said, Father, I thank you. I thank you because I know that you hear me always. I know that you hear me always. And after that, the Bible says he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth bound hand and foot. He that was dead. What did he say in chapter 5? The dead will hear the voice of the Son of Man. And what did he do in chapter 11? He cried out and the dead heard his voice. But between the prophecy and the fulfillment, he gave thanks. There are so many prophecies that have rained upon you and I at Shiloh. What God is saying is that to see the prophecy come to pass, you must bridge the gap by thanksgiving. It is thanksgiving that acts as a bridge between the prophecy and the fulfillment. Where you do not commit to giving thanks, you disconnect from the hand that fulfills the prophecy. And that is why thanksgiving becomes absolutely vital. Looking at the example of Jesus, it was necessary for the prophecy over his life to be fulfilled. So if you and I will see prophecy fulfilled in our own lives, thanksgiving becomes an absolute necessity. And that is why it must remain a lifestyle. Those who are continuously grateful, continuously see the fulfillment of the hand of God and the plan of God over their lives. I see that becoming somebody's experience here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, God's servant, our Father, continued to say in all of the various services, that if you are thankful, your tank will remain full. You can't be empty of fulfillment when you are full of gratitude. The more committed you are to the, engaging the force of gratitude, the more you experience fulfillment of prophecy. That is why when you look at what God has said, begin to give thanks. Begin to give thanks. Begin to give thanks. Begin to celebrate him for what he has said. The Bible tells us very clearly in Psalm chapter 56 and verse 4 and verse 10, it tells us there, it said, In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh will do unto me. Verse 10 again, it said, In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. Every time you receive a word from God, it must draw praise from you. It is the gratitude, the praise, the thanksgiving you offer that releases the hand of God to fulfill that plan of God as it concerns you. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. That's why no matter what it is that you came with at Shiloh, the answer is in the prophetic word you received. Therefore, simply anchor on it. Anchor on it. Somebody came and said, look at all those conditions, blindness, diabetes, lumps in the breast, all manner of things on every side. And just before going for treatment, came to Shiloh. And the prophetic word went forth. Anchored on that word. Suddenly, the sight began to clear. The pains began to disappear. The symptoms eradicated. Why? The prophetic word was loaded with the solution. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews 4 and verse 12, it said the word of God is quick and it is powerful. I want you to know that every prophetic word released inside of it is the solution to every situation that you have been confronted with. 
But in order to release the content of that word to be fulfilled in your life, you must engage the force of thanksgiving. Engage the force of thanksgiving. My prayer for each one of us is that from this day onward, thanksgiving will remain a lifestyle. Somebody believe it, say it loud, amen. In the book of Ephesians 5 and verse 20, Ephesians 5, 20, the Bible puts it this way to us. It says, giving thanks always. How often? How often? Giving thanks always for how many things? For all things. Unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks always. So there is no time that thanksgiving is permitted to stop. Giving thanks always. Giving thanks always. And for all things. And for all things. So our lives must become a continuous fountain of gratitude. A continuous fountain of gratitude. Giving thanks always. At every point in time, let gratitude be flowing from you. You remember an issue in your life? You remember a prophetic word that come? Don't complain concerning it. Give thanks for it. Appreciate God for it. Because in praising his word, you will see his word come to pass. That's going to be somebody's experience here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you discover that it also, also requires thanksgiving and praise to keep even the church of Christ growing. The church of Christ itself will not grow on its own if there is no facilitation of gratitude. In the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 46 and 47, the Bible tells us there, Acts 2, verse 46 and 47, it said they continued daily in one accord in the temple and breaking, house, breaking bread from house to house. They ate their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. And verse 47, very, very particular, praising God, having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. That's why you discover that a joyful, a praising, a thanksgiving, a celebrating church remains a growing church. It remains a growing church. One of the signals and the symbols of this commission is continuous gratitude, thanksgiving, praise. That's why you see people coming from church laughing, smiling. And people outside see them. What are they laughing about? They keep coming. Because you discover that there is, there is an attractive force that comes when thanksgiving and praise is offered. When it is a lifestyle, you begin to magnetize good things. I see that becoming somebody's experience here. Somebody believe me, say loud, amen. I say, I see that becoming somebody's experience here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What God is saying to you and to me is this. He has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. They are packaged in the precious promises and prophecies that have gone forth over us. But to see them fulfilled, the catalyst of gratitude is necessary. The catalyst of gratitude is necessary. So every time you look at the things you wrote in your expectation card and look at the prophecies that came in connection to it, you look at it and you begin to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Celebrating him, glorifying him. And as you do so, you will see the hand of God bring that plan to pass. Will you rise on your feet with me this morning? We have heard the word in theory. Now practicalize it. Lift your hand, lift your voice, and give thanks to God. Give thanks to God for what he has done. Give thanks to God for what he has said. Give thanks to God. Begin to glorify him. Begin to adore him. Begin to celebrate him. Begin to honor him. Begin to give praise to him. Begin to give glory to him. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Make sure you are glorifying him. Be specific. Forget not his benefits. Forget not his benefits. Forget not his benefits. Give glory to God. Give praise to his name. Celebrate the faithfulness of our God. Lord, we have come this morning to say thank you for every prophetic word. Begin to make mention of any prophetic word that you remember that concerns you, concerns your case. Begin to thank him for it. The prophetic word concerning your fruitfulness. The prophetic word concerning your advancement. The prophetic word concerning your turnaround. The prophetic word concerning your healing. The prophetic word concerning your liberty. The prophetic word concerning your lifting. Are you giving quality thanks unto God? Are you giving quality thanks unto God? Give him the praise that is due unto his name. 
Give him the praise that is due unto his name. Give the glory unto God. Give the glory unto God. Celebrate him. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise and worthy of all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Father, lift your hands. We have come this morning with gratitude in our hearts because you have done all things well. We came to Shiloh for the word and none of us missed out on receiving your word. We thank you because we know that by the encounter with that word, everyone's situation has been turned around for a testimony. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you and thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. I welcome you this week to your week of fulfillment. As you are giving thanks to God this week, the testimonies of the encounter of Shiloh will begin to drop in every department of your life. In the name of Jesus, this week shall be testimony loaded. Before one is concluding, another one is beginning. Before that one is concluding, another one is beginning. 